So as always, there's a few things to do today. First thing first, what I want to do is get all the rest of the wood and the plastic and the branches and stuff out of here so it's completely clear and just rubble left. I've got a gravel delivery coming next week to give all the drive a new coat of gravel. So I need to get it all streamed, all the weeds down, ready to just put that top coat on. And lastly, if I've got time, I want to get the last two back windows put in the van so that job is just done and dusted they're out of the barn and the van's looking nice huh what are you waiting for One thing that I'm definitely going to recoup out of this, and that's all these old bricks because they're great for just like cheating in a few features now and again, and they're super hard to get hold of now. And these bricks are the same bricks that I built the kitchen island out of all that time ago, so I know they look good. This area is now clear of anything that shouldn't be in there, no wood or anything like that, so it's just rubble. We'll speak to our neighbour who lives up the road who's got a big excavator and hopefully he can help us out by giving us half a day's work of just clearing it all out and getting rid of it. So in preparation for the gravel coming, I'm going to get this drive clear, anything that doesn't need to be on it, off all the tools and mixers and cars and stuff, and then just try to get the weeds down, ready for a fresh coat of gravel over the top. A nice half an hour of pebble dashing my own legs. Brilliant. So I'm just gonna rake all this up now and get the drive as clear as possible. And then we're ready for that gravel. I'm really not gonna bother with a membrane or anything because we're on and off of country roads, dragging mud and weeds in any way. I don't think it's gonna make a difference. So just a fresh coat of stones on the top and we'll just keep on with a burner or just keep topping up the gravel. Ooh, them legs are stingy. I'm feeling better about the driveway situation. Let's get these windows done. Now obviously that's not the final shape, that's just roughly getting it out and now I'll just go around and neaten it up. If you didn't catch the last few windows that I did, they all follow the same principle, basically destroy your van until the point of no return, prime it with the black thing, squidge 
the adhesive on and plop the glass in. And that's about as hard as it is. Okay, that's in. What I think is a little treat to the van. I give it its annual wash, because it's a bit minging. But I won't bore you with the washing the van, sped up, time lapsey bit, but I will see you tomorrow. A little higher.